Hi everybody, it's Lance Dunn, and I am in the Flemington Coffee Shop right here in Flemington, New Jersey. And the reason I'm here is because this is one of my favorite spots to eat lunch and breakfast. And I wanted to kind of get the word out about this place because I know that a lot of you that are watching are going to love this spot too. So I'm I'm here with uh, Santiago Cuellar. Yes. And we just wanted to talk about his uh, restaurant here. So Santiago, uh, thanks for coming on the show here. Thank you. Yeah. Um, awesome. So tell us a little bit about the restaurant that you have here. Well, this is the Flemington Coffee Shop. It's been here for over 57 years. Uh, it's a staple in the community. Um, I just happened to come across it uh, over about uh, about a year ago, and it's uh, it's a nice little quaint little shop that's hidden in the little uh, hunter and shopping center. And uh, it was uh, in the process of being uh, on the market for about three or four years, and I saw a vision, saw a little shop that was hidden somewhere that. Um, had been uh, basically uh, just uh, here for quite a while and uh, I saw it as an opportunity for myself to launch uh, my Latin dishes, uh, empanadas, Cuban sandwiches and uh, as an opportunity to, to grow and to make this community uh, a little bit richer in culture, Latin flair, Latin dishes and uh, definitely um, the community has responded very well. A lot of, uh, a lot of dishes, a lot of, uh, a lot of tasty, tasty dishes that you can actually come and taste here. That's awesome. So it's been here for 50 plus years yes. and you've been the owner for about a year or so? Uh, been here since April. We actually uh, we actually took over in uh, April 13th as a matter of fact. We took over the, the coffee shop and it's been uh, it's been great. It's been a great, great That's start. awesome. So the community's responding really well. Everybody yes. seems to like it. Yeah, we have a uh, we have a traditional breakfast lunch menu and uh, we've added uh, uh, these tasty, tasty empanadas, uh, uh, tasty Cuban sandwiches, flan that is out of this world, tres leches that is remarkable, uh, and slowly we've been uh, uh, adding a little bit of uh, uh, spicy, not so spicy dishes that uh, everybody loves, but at the same token we've kept the uh, traditional coffee shop um, uh, dishes that have, have been, I've tried not to change much of anything except update uh, the look of the place and the, everyone that's been coming here has been very receptive and has said that it looks exactly the same except that it just looks a little bit updated and um, <laughs> I take pride in doing what I've done so far. Updates are good. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And I've had the Cuban sandwich, it's fantastic. I've had the, the flan, <laughs> yes. which I I guess I kind of describe it um, like a custard, if you yes. will. Yes, it's yeah. like a, um, well it's a, it's a Spanish custard type that my wife has been working on for the last 30 years, give or take. <laughs> and it's, uh, she's actually, it's a recipe that her and the military spouses that she's been hanging out with over the last 30 years has worked on. And it's, uh, she's made it to a perfection that I can describe as an explosion of flavor. Uh, because it's, uh, everybody that's told me that they don't like flan tries it and thinks it's, it's unbelievable. So it's, it's a different taste. She's made it into a combination of a uh, little less eggy, a little less light, a little less, um, it's not very uh, rich in certain uh, flavors and tastes, but it's a combination of all the new taste that she has in it. It's very tasty. I love it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> I love custard, so it was a natural fit for me. Awesome. What's your favorite item on the menu? Um, they're all great. <laughs> I mean, the old stuff. I mean, the omelets. The uh, all the food is is excellent. All the uh, items are excellent. But um, one item that definitely is near and dear to me is the empanadas. I've been making them honestly since probably as long as I can remember. I was making empanadas when I was like 20 years old. <laughs> I was making them for for my mom actually. Yeah, she was uh, she was a four lady at a factory, and I would make them so she can take them to her. A factory and sell them um, just as a part-time, I guess, a part-time job. Yeah. And um, since then, they were taken off. I mean, she would sell them for, at, you know, for a dollar a pop. And back then, she would sell them on a weekly basis from maybe twenty or thirty a week to like forty and fifty a week. But then, I had another calling. I joined the military. But here I am, thirty years later, and they're kicking it off just as well as they were 20 years ago yeah and it's a uh, it's a different flavor uh, it's a natural all naturally homemade we make them right here on premises uh, all the seasonings are homemade 
and um, I would say that is probably the number one item that we make. Uh, I make the beef. My wife makes the chicken, uh, all naturally uh, seasoning. And um, uh, so far to date, um, the word's getting out. Uh, people come here from Denellen, they come here from Plainfield, they come from Milford. Um, can't think of how far else they come. It's pretty from. good. I mean, you got people yeah. coming in from far, far away, 40, 30, 40 minutes away. Yeah, they say they're just as good, if not better, than some of the other empanada places. That I can't say the names. <laughs> so, but they're, <laughs> they'll they're remain good. nameless. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but they're that good. So I see you got your army shirt on, yes. and uh, you mentioned the military. Yes. So I'm sure you've been all over. I know from conversations we had before that you've been all over the globe. Definitely. Why the Flemington area? What brought you here? Um. It was kind of, um, we, my sister, my family's been out here in this area for quite some time. I kind of just uh, naturally rotated, gravitated towards my family, my kids all. I uh, brought them out here probably around 2004. And um, this uh, area is rich in culture and history that is fascinating. It's, uh, it's uh, very uh, intriguing. I mean, a lot of the history goes back here. And as I talk to a lot of the patrons in the shop, it's... Uh, Interesting to see how the community stays very entrenched and very connected. Uh, I speak to a lot of my uh, my customers here, and it's uh, I just every day it seems to be very uh, connected. Uh, people are very connected. People come in here and know each other that they haven't seen each other for ten years sometimes, and they seem like they just saw each other five years ago. Uh, so that all, I guess, going back to what brought me here just uh, my family brought me here and I you know when I came here 15 years ago um, we just we, it connected it clicked we just we moved out here originally to rent uh, in White House Station and my kids all went to Huntington Central and this was an area that we came to shop and we liked it and since I've been here we've been involved with the uh, community partnerships the revitalization of Flemington which I think is one of the greatest things that's been going on with Main Street um, all the businesses are doing great ventures on trying to make Flemington great again, if I can say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a definitely a great partnership, but um, definitely one of the greatest things I think that I find interesting with Huntington County, Flemington, uh, is, is all the, uh, the history that's involved in here. I think that's one of the things, I mean, I think it was just a natural attraction that brought me towards Flemington. One of the things that has kept me here is definitely uh, the people, the culture, the, the history, for sure. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about the area is the people. I love the people here. Yeah. Um, and there's definitely no shortage of history. So, moving forward, you know, what's next on the horizon for the Flemington Coffee Shop? What's um, up and coming? Well, I try not to change anything about the coffee shop because it's, it's what it was. It's whatever was made here i tried not to change much of it and keep it what it was except build off of what was founded here yeah um just add a little bit of us you know like right. i think my model to this place was mi casa is su casa and but slowly i just tried to develop uh a little bit and add a little bit of what is us to it uh but just add a, what we have some of our spanish uh flair uh add what we have from our um, Latin menu to the menu and just um, I mean the menu has gotten a little bit more uh, evolved I can say with what the the, uh, the traditional menu has been the classic menu uh, so we're not going to change any of that people love the pancakes everybody loves the omelets we make here uh, the pancakes here are, are delicious people <laughs> come from far and far to, to come for the pancakes and we're going to do the same thing with the empanadas we're going to make sure that they are classically mounted on our, our menu and we're going to redesign the menu to make sure we have room on, and space for everything on the menu so i can still come in and get my favorite pancakes and eggs for breakfast or burger and fries for lunch but add something along to it like flan or tres leches for dessert right definitely most definitely awesome and maybe in a, add some whipped cream some whipped cream. <laughs> can never have enough whipped cream. Of course. Love that stuff. <laughs> well, that's great. I love this place. I, again, I would implore anybody who's watching to come in. I know you're going to love it. It's one of my favorite spots. And um, thanks again, Santiago, for talking to me and, and letting everybody know about what you got going on here. It's awesome. definitely something that um, 
I'm going to be coming back again and again, and I want everybody else to. So thanks again. Awesome. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank See you, you later, everybody. Too. All right.